Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we'll be having the second part of our medical coding game. I am the medical coding guy. Here we are again in a brand new episode of our medical coding game. So in this game, we'll be practicing some CPC exam questions. Okay. And our topic for today is not other than skin to skin, which is all about integumentary system. So last time we discussed about diagnosis mania about ICD-10 CM. Today we'll be finishing the column for skin to skin. So we'll have five questions. Feel free to pause the video if you want to answer the questions that we'll be having on the screen. So let's start first with skin to skin for 200. All right. The area was prepped and draped in the usual sterile fashion. Local anesthesia was achieved using 1 cc of lidocaine, 1%. The heavily contaminated wound was extensively irrigated and cleaned. Single layer closure using 3-0 nylon interrupted sutures were placed. Which type of repair was done by the surgeon? Okay, let's answer this question. So this question, guys, can be answered by checking your guidelines on the repair. So again, here uh, you can find the definition of each type of repair, starting from your simple down to your complex. So simple repair is if the doctor has done or closed the wound using simple or single one layer closure, all right? Based on this scenario, guys, you can see that single layer closure was done. However, you have to consider as well the other terms such as your heavily contaminated wound and also the term extensively irrigated and clean, all right? Because if you will uh, check the definition of your intermediate repair, it's mentioned here layered closure of one or more deeper layers. So if it's uh, more than one layer, it will fall under your intermediate repair. However, in the last uh, sentence of this paragraph, you can uh, see that single layer closure, heavily contaminated wounds. What else? Required extensive cleaning or removal of particulate matter, all right? Since you have it in the scenario right here, extensively irrigated and heavily contaminated wounds, it will not fall under simple. All right, so single layer closure, but you have this following terms mentioned. So it will fall under letter B. If it's going to be letter C complex, it should be uh, the following terms listed here. All right, and most importantly, the term extensive undermining. Okay, so the answer for this, what is an intermediate repair? Congratulations for getting $200. Okay, so we will now proceed to uh, the next question. All right, for $400. A melanoma on the cheek measuring 1.2 cm was removed. The total margins measured 0.8 cm for all sides. Layered closure of 3.2 cm was performed. Which CPT code should be reported? Timer starts now. Time's up. You can uh, unpause the video. So for this question, guys, you're required to answer this with your knowledge about excision of skin lesion guidelines plus repair, all right? So let's go and locate it under your CPT codebook, all right? So here, guys, under your 114 and 116 codes, you have excision of benign lesion and excision of malignant lesion, respectively, all right? Here, you can find this first paragraph under each of the... Uh, section here about excision all right so excision already includes simple repair so if uh, you have a simple repair that was done therefore you don't have to code it anymore all right for the repair itself because it's already included if it's intermediate and complex uh, closure that was done then yes you have to code the intermediate and complex repair all right but since the question is giving you a melanoma that was excised you need to go to your excision of malignant lesion. And melanoma is a type of cancer, a type of skin cancer, okay? So simply go to 116 to confirm, 116 codes, 
you have your examples here of malignant lesions of the skin. BCC, SCC, basal cell and your squamous cell carcinoma, and then lastly, your melanoma here. You have a melanoma on the cheek that was removed, okay? So check the size and the site. So those are the next two that you will check after uh, finding the type of lesion that was excised. So cheek, this is where the location of the melanoma is. And then um, 1.2 centimeter is for the measurement or the size of the lesion that was excised. But we're not yet done there. Uh, you have to take the sum, all right? Of the total margin size plus the size of the lesion so 1.2 centimeter plus 0.8 centimeter that's going to be 2.0 centimeters locate the uh, site first so where we have the cheek and according to your choices it routes you to go to 1164 something 1164 2 and 3 and yes it's mentioned here face so check the size Excise diameter 1.1 to 2.0, yes, that's the total uh, sum of the margin plus the exact size of the lesion. So you will choose 11642, all right? You have 11643 for 2.1, but according to your question, all right, it's only 2.0 or 2 centimeters, all right? So we'll uh, eliminate definitely letter C and also letter A. So what's left? 11642 with uh, your repair code plus your 11642 here as a standalone but take note about the type of repair that was done layered closure of 3.2 centimeter was performed afterwards all right so jump to your repair guidelines right take note what i told you earlier simply go and locate it here right even though the number of layers was not mentioned all right for the repair but according to this intermediate repair guidelines, you can see that it requires layered closure. So therefore, it's a layered closure. So we can identify it as your intermediate repair. Take note about the thing that I told you earlier, that if it's intermediate repair, you have to code it in conjunction with your excision codes. Because the only thing that's uh, not going to be coded is your simple repair. You can check the guidelines here, all right? So please take note of that. So what's the answer for this? Without uh, looking um, towards, without, uh, if you check 12052 with modifier 51, all right? Let's uh, check if it's correct. So check the size and the site, all right? This is where the cheek is located. So what's the size? 3.2, it will fall under this code set right here 12052 will be the answer all right so just put modifier 51 to indicate multiple procedures the answer for this one is letter b congratulations for getting 400 dollars we'll now proceed to the third question on to your 600 dollar question ricardo de lisa is here for a scheduled moss micrographic surgery okay the skin cancer is located on his forearm Dr. FPJ performed the procedure and did the pre-surgical prepping. The first stage includes seven tissue blocks and the second stage includes four tissue blocks. What are the CPT codes should be reported for this? This is a question about MOS micrographic surgery. Time starts now. Time's up and pause the video. Okay, so in this question, guys, you will be using your knowledge here about MOS micrographic surgery. So go to 17311 code sets. You have the guidelines here under MOS. You have three steps for coding your MOS micrographic surgery. Check the site first, okay? So you only have two code sets to uh, check. So this is the first code set, and the second one will be this, all right? If we're talking about the main procedure, okay? 17311 is for the following parts. Head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia, etc. All right? This is for the first stage. 17313, trunks, arms, or legs. Okay? So it's mentioned here, forearm. So you will be uh, getting the code from your 17313 code set. All right? Trunks, arms, or legs. Eliminate letter B for that. Okay? So next step is to check the number of stages all right if you go back here 
So for the first stage, you will be using this 17313. And then for each additional stage, you will be coding 17314. The best thing here to do is to do it one by one. All right, don't mix it up, okay? Follow the three steps that I mentioned, all right? So as we can see here, guys, the doctor has performed two stages. First stage plus second stage. Therefore, you will code your 17314 here as your secondary code, okay? As your add-on code. And then last but not the least, check the number of tissue blocks per stage. So for the first stage, you have seven tissue blocks. I'll put here one, indicating the first stage. And then you have seven, all right? And then for the second stage, you have four. I'll put here four for the second stage. How many excess do you have for your first stage? It's going to be seven. Subtract five from it, okay? So that's going to be seven minus five. You have two extra, all right? For second stage, it's mentioned as four. It's not exceeding your five tissue blocks. So do not add anything here, okay? So you only have two excess here for your tissue blocks for the first stage. So multiply it by 2 for your last code, which is 17315 times 2. So that's the use of this final code under your MOS surgery. It's a rather straightforward question. Congratulations for your $600. Let's now proceed to a much more difficult question. Okay. Question for $800. Maritus was diagnosed with right breast cancer two weeks ago via biopsy. She is here today for a right radical mastectomy procedure, which includes axillary lymph node and chest muscle removal. A deep inferior epigastric perforator flap reconstruction was done afterwards. What are the codes you should report? All right, time's up. And pause the video. So this is a question about breast procedure. Please take note uh, for breast procedure, guys. It's very important for you to check the laterality. If it was done the right, put RT modifier. If it's done for the left, put LT modifier, okay? So here, the patient uh, was diagnosed with right breast cancer two weeks ago. She is here for what? Right radical mastectomy procedure. So when checking for mastectomy procedure, guys, check if it's simple. Check if it's radical approach. If it's radical approach, check the other parts that were removed by the doctor during that episode. Here, you have axillary lymph node and also chest muscle removal. You have your uh, mastectomy procedure here, but it's not your simple. It is a radical approach, right? So for radical, just check what are the things that the, the doctor removed as well. So here, you have pectoralis muscle or the chest muscles plus the auxiliary lymph nodes, all right? If you go to 19306, which is the urban type, it includes internal mammary lymph nodes, which I think was not mentioned in this particular scenario. So we will just proceed with your radical mastectomy with the use of your 19305, all right? So 19305, 19305 right here, all right? But let's confirm uh, the type of reconstruction that was done afterwards. Deep inferior epigastric perforator flap reconstruction was done. Okay? If you go to 19367 or 64 to compare, all right? Breast reconstruction. So this is your latissimus dorsi flap. Free flap. Although the term flap was mentioned in the question, flap reconstruction however the term deep inferior epigastric perforator was mentioned that's the type of reconstruction that was done however nothing was mentioned here about the following but if you go to 19364 you will see the following abbreviations or shortcut terms all right if you want to find out the meaning of this following terms right here you can go to the paragraph before that all right so it's located right here under this paragraph all right so you have your f tram deep and then you have your siea and gap flaps so it's mentioned here deep inferior epigastric perforator diep so you can go with 19364 for this scenario eliminate 19367 it's for your uh tram flap or single uh 
pedicle tram flap. We'll not be choosing those. So under your 19364, all right, letter C and letter D, you have 19305 here for the mastectomy procedure that was done earlier. So you will choose letter C in this case, okay? So the answer here is letter C. Congratulations for winning $800 here. Again, there's no real money involved here. But the knowledge, all right, that you will get here will be priceless. All right, so congratulations. Let us now proceed to your final question for $1,000. Here you go. Tony Sparks is here for a scheduled destruction of his lesions. 17 actinic keratosis and 16 flatworts were destroyed using cryoprobe. Answer, please. All right, time's up. Let's answer this final question for the day. All right. So uh, again, if you were coding for destruction of lesion, you have to identify the type of lesion that's being destroyed with following techniques such as cryosurgery, electrosurgery. All right. Okay. So identify the type of lesion that was the destroyed during the episode. So you have pre-malignant lesion here, actinic keratosis. You have your continuous vascular proliferative lesion, all right? And then you have your benign, and then you also have malignant lesion here. But according to the question, guys, the doctor has removed two types of lesion, all right? 17 actinic keratosis, which will fall under your pre-malignant lesions. 16 flat warts will fall under your benign lesions. So code first your pre-malignant lesion excision or destruction rather, actinic keratosis. So how many? 17. So this first two code set here is only good up until 14 lesions. It's mentioned 17. So it will fall under your 15 or more. So if you go to the next code 17004, you have 15 or more lesions right here. Okay. So eliminate this, this, then you have 17004 here and here. However, there's a shortcut. If you check the um, parenthetical guideline under 17004, you can see that you cannot use 17004 in conjunction with 17000 and 17003. Therefore, this is a standalone code. You can eliminate letter D in this case. How many flat warts or benign lesion were destroyed here? All right, so it's mentioned 16. Just to confirm, you have your benign lesion excision here. 15 or more lesion, 17111. Yes, it will fall under letter C. And that's it. You won $1,000. Congratulations. That's how you code for destruction of lesions. And that covers our second episode skin to skin all about integumentary system and that's going to be it for this day i hope you enjoyed the video see you next time so long i am the medical coding guy always remember without knowledge there is no power goodbye